Izumi Finance, or also known as EasySwap, is a leading multi-chain decentralized exchange available on ZK Sync, Scroll, Linear, Base, Bob, Manta, Mode, Xlayer, Zeta Chain, Mantle, Arbitrum, and the list goes on. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to use the EasySwap protocol, and you'll be able to replicate it across any compatible network on the DEX. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at AltCryptoGems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into it. Now we're officially on the Izumi Finance website, which is izumi.finance. We've got the official X page, which is at izumi underscore finance. Give them a follow and I'll leave all the official links down below. Now, like I mentioned, they are a multi-chain DeFi protocol that enables you to swap. They also enable you to earn liquidity across multiple chains, farming, you name it, guys. They have got everything on here. This is your one-stop shop across all the chains. Now, if you go up into the top right corner, guys, you will see a network, whichever network that you might have it connected in your wallet right now. If we go up to the top, mine says linear. If we scroll up or down, you'll be able to see ZK Sync, scroll, linear, base, Bob, Manta Pacific, Mode, X Layer, BNB Chain, Zeta Chain, Cyber, Mantle, ZK Link, Nova, ZK Fair, Blast, Chroma, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, Ultron, and Ethereum Classic. Guys, there's a huge amount of Layer 1 and Layer 2 networks here, all of which are EVM compatible, and many of which I have assets on. Therefore, I'm going to show you how to swap and use liquidity pools on different networks. I'm not going to use all of them, obviously, but you'll be able to replicate it across every single network that you wish to use. Now, whether you're looking to swap tokens or whether you're looking to provide liquidity and obviously farm, then it depends on obviously what you want to do. However, what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to simply connect our wallet first. I'm going to choose MetaMask. This is the wallet I'm using. You're going to need to have assets of some kind, whether that's Ethereum, whether that's Polygon Matic, whether that's BNB. It depends on the network that you're using. Therefore, what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to use the simplest and most popular feature first. And you may have guessed it, that is the swapping. So you may be wanting to do this first. So I'm going to make it easy for you and put it up. At the beginning of the video and simply guys obviously you want to first choose your network now i'm going to be using the base network first you can use linear scrolls uk sync or whatever you want i know there is a base airdrop coming so i'm going to be farming base like crazy nonetheless what we want to do is guys we want to simply swap so how do we do so now the top asset is going to be the asset you're swapping from and most likely i'm assuming that you're going to have ethereum or some kind of asset like so and you want to swap into another coin such as the usdc coin or usdc base or even a meme coin or whatever it may be what we want to do is we want to swap it as the bottom token so whatever token you want it will be at the bottom and therefore you will choose a token that you want it also has all the tokens appearing in our wallet already and as you can see i've got five dollars and sixty three cents worth of usdc so i might as well get myself some more usdc that's what i want right now and to get some more all i'm going to do is i'm going to input the amount of ethereum assets that i have in my wallet and i want to spend on more usdc so say for example i just did 0.0111 i'm going to get 41 dollars and 90 cents worth of usdc there's a slippage tolerance of 0.5 percent which is very small i'm going to click swap as you can see, the total transaction is $42 worth, give or take, with an estimated fee of $0.07. Cents. Now, that is very good compared to Ethereum, guys, even though Ethereum is experiencing low GUI at the moment. Nonetheless, I'm going to be using my Trezor device to confirm the transaction because I love my safety. And it's as simple as that. We have clicked the swap button, and very easily, we're going to be getting our USDC in our base wallet very shortly. Now, once the transaction is completed, like so, we'll now see that I've got $47.50 worth of USDC. So, guys, it's very easy to swap on this protocol. If you wanted to simply swap all your USDC back, you can click this little exchange button and it will simply turn it upside down. Here you'll be able to see how much USDC you have and how much that will translate into in, when you want to swap it in Ethereum or any other asset that you wanted. However, assuming that you wanted to now provide liquidity, you know how to swap and we're on the base network. I'm going to now head over to where it says pools up the top left corner. If we scroll down, you'll be able to see a variety of different liquidity pools within the Izumi Finance protocol, ranging from Wrapdeath and USDC to either Wrapdeath and the Izzy token, which is the native token of the DEX. As you can see, there are so many different pools. Therefore, if you wanted to add tokens obviously you just choose a pool just like so add liquidity and once you scroll down you're going to choose the fee tiers on the info box it says fees charged in each swap so every time someone swaps using this pool x amount is taken from the fees nonetheless you choose whichever one i'm going to choose the default 0.3 percent as that's the one they recommend down below it explains the price range but all you want to do is guys if you want to provide liquidity is simply enter the amount that you want say for example i did three usdc automatically guys you're going to see my ethereum update and it says 0.0 
0.008, which is simply adding the same amount of Ethereum into the pool. Therefore, if you want to add this and just do this, I would just click approve USDC. I'm just going to click $3 because that's the amount that I'm giving them to spend. I'm going to click approve, confirm the transaction. Once you've approved USDC, then we'll be able to confirm it and deposit it into the pool. But first, always guys, we have to approve the smart contracts before we are able to do so. You are able to revoke these contracts in revoke.cash and that's if you want to increase your safety of your wallet, obviously. However, now the transaction has been completed and we have approved the smart contract, what we can do is we can now deposit into the pool by clicking the create button. Please pay attention to whether the current price deviates significantly from the market price. If so, it presents arbitrage opportunities that could result in asset losses. So I think it looks pretty good, guys. So I'm going to click add and voila, we are going to send $6 roughly give or take into the pool, excluding the fees, obviously. I'm going to confirm the transaction and very shortly, the liquidity will be added and we'll start earning some yield. However, if you go up into the pool section once again and go to manage liquidity, here we can see our liquidity that we've got. We've got an NFT ID, which is the ETH to USDC pool. I haven't earned any fees at the moment and if you just want to withdraw it at any time guys you just click remove and you just click the remove percentage if you want to do a hundred percent or if you wanted to do you know one percent of the pool it depends how much you wanted to withdraw completely up to you but it's so simple i'm going to leave that in there because i also think by providing liquidity will also qualify for the base airdrop that is not the main focus of this video however why don't we switch over to the zk sync network which is another popular network which is used for azumi finance and zk sync is doing an airdrop well personally in my opinion and it could be happening very soon so by using azumi finance we could help ourselves qualify so i'm going to switch networks as you can see i've got no liquidity in the zk sync network at the moment but one thing i want to show you on the azumi finance protocol is if we go up to the top and go to i points over here we can see the amount of i points i have i have 420 which i did a while ago in 2023 i should have used it more however i can still get my hands on some points which will be distributing zk sync tokens once the zk sync airdrop goes live so here guys you can see izzy swap will share 50 percent of potential ecosystem airdrops it gets in the future swap and add liquidity will earn the points the more points you earn the more airdrop you will be shared and as you can see it says use the izzy swap on zk sync strictly to earn i points not any other network and that is why i'm showing you how to use it on this platform you will not only be able to just swap your tokens and provide liquidity and earn on zk sync on azumi finance but you will also get yourself some airdrops by swapping on azumi finance using zk sync so i thought this is probably one of the best networks to show you so guys from here what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some points so every single week we can come on here and earn ourselves some points so as you can see we've got 50 dollars for 10 points in swap value in a week 500 dollars for 20 points 50 dollars of izzy for 30 points or five thousand dollars for 50 points now we've got hold lps which is a liquidity pool tokens if you're holding anywhere between 500 to five thousand dollars you can get 30 points but you must stake it for at least three days anywhere between the 500 to five thousand once again but if you stake it for at least five days you get 50 points points and an LP value at 5k and beyond if you stake it for at least three days you get 60 points and at least five days you get 100 points so you can see where I'm going with this guys and you can head over to see this yourself up the top is your overall points and down below that is the weekly points that you're going to accumulate therefore what we're going to do is we're going to simply swap some tokens on the ZK sync network and guys if you have used this protocol in the past you will be prompted with a new message saying that new contracts have been upgraded in July and the old contracts are no longer maintained please check if you have old liquidity with the following link and remove them therefore if you have any liquidity in the old protocol of izumi finance head over there to remove it i haven't got any i just checked however let's continue and start swapping so do not show again and i'm going to click x what we're going to do is guys as you can see i've got 0.148 ethereum which is roughly 560 dollars yep as you can see 560 dollars worth of eth on the zk sync network a network that i'm really bullish on and one that i think is going to do a huge airdrop so you're going to be getting i points as well from doing this so you're not just going to help yourself with the zk sync airdrop unless the snapshot is already taken but you'll be helping yourself with the Azumi Finance ecosystem airdrops, which is very nice as well. Therefore, what we're going to do is I'm going to simply swap ETH into a token. It could be USDC, it could be USDT. But what I want to do is swap it into the Izzy token, which as we remember, if we swap at least $50 worth of any asset into Izzy, we'll be able to get ourselves 50 I points. Therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting in 0.03 ETH, which is roughly $113. Therefore, I'm going to get 9,245 Izzy. I'm going to click swap beautiful the gas fees are very small we've got 14 cents fees and we're going to get a big refund from zk sync just because that's how the network works 
confirm the transaction and voila it is as easy as that now very soon guys our points will update in the point system it doesn't update every second and you just need to wait for the api to just update nonetheless if we see here guys we can see 50 dollars worth of easy gets us 30 points sorry however i've done 50 dollars worth of volume so that's an extra 10 points so that's 40 points we're going to get guys this week unless obviously I accumulate more volume and get the $505,000 mark, which will obviously help us with two different airdrops. Nonetheless, that is how you simply swap. If you want to use liquidity pools, once again, it is exactly the same. You just choose the liquidity pools that you want to do. Say if you wanted to now input your Izzy tokens into a liquidity pool, you can do Izzy, Izzy with ETH, for example, click add liquidity, once again, choose how much you want to do. If it was just a hundred tokens, say that would be one dollars and twenty-four cents of each asset. You would click approve, confirm it, deposit into the liquidity pool, and off you go. One thing to note is, is that you cannot use the Easy to ETH LP tokens in the farm, but what you can use is ETH to USDC, for example. So if you go over to the farm section up the top where it says farm, you could actually input your LP tokens by depositing ETH to USDC in the liquidity pools, which rewards you with 133 bell per day at a rate between 130 three to 258 percent apr on top of the rewards that you're earning from the liquidity pool tokens already so why don't i briefly show you how to do it so you can get yourself started if you wish bear in mind there are more risks when using the farm so just bear that in mind and do your own research before doing so and this isn't going to be for everyone but this is just simply a tutorial therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply swap some tokens into usdc i might as well swap all of my izzy tokens now into usdc and i'm going to click approve and i'm going to get my 113 dollars back I'm going to click next and approve the smart contract and then we click swap and voila our 9244.8 izzy tokens are now turned into usdc from here guys we can choose as much usdc we want to put into the pools and farm if i go into pools and i now scroll down and find the usdc to eth which as we can see here is going to give me 97% APR and then I can earn an extra 100 to 280% in the farm guys this is nuts if I click add liquidity and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do another three dollars which is going to simply add another three dollars worth of ETH very easily I'm going to click approve USDC and this time I'm going to do another three dollars to approve for the spending cap once again confirm the transaction and then once again we click create and it's going to deposit our assets into the pool click confirm and confirm so as we can see guys we're going to be doing six dollars into the liquidity pool and then from here to confirm that we've got our liquidity pool tokens we can go up to manage liquidity and down below you can see the amount that we've got here. here is our nft id proving that we've deposited six dollars worth of liquidity we can add or remove at any single time and just to show you guys if we go over to the farm now we can also earn some incredible rewards by having our assets in certain pools so because we've got eth to usdc.e we're going to earn a minimum to maximum apr of 102 to 257 percent and APR and earn 133 bell per day depending on how much you put in there obviously so eventually guys in the farm section because you've deposited into the liquidity pool like I've shown you you'll be able to earn some assets from the farm and obviously depending on how much you deposited will give you the opportunity to earn I points and now as you can see guys we have currently earned 40 I points which we did earlier if I complete another $160 worth of volume I will then get another 20 points because I did $500 worth of volume this week and I will do so after this video but guys I I hope you enjoyed it and found it very helpful you can simply do this on any single network obviously some networks might not have the farm feature so you might be restricted however you can basically swap and provide liquidity on all of the other networks that are available but personally i think the zk sync network for the izumi finance is the best one purely because you can earn i points and gather up some airdrop opportunities so friends another thing if you want to head over to our youtube channel and check out a whole bunch of videos and playlists be our guest one specifically is the crypto airdrop guides which we're on our journey to a hundred thousand dollars and seeming as we've mentioned airdrops in this video i thought it might be worthy for you obviously nothing in this video is financial advice but check these out we've been earning thousands of dollars from crypto airdrops all you have to do is click a few buttons almost every day or every single week and you can get yourself some nice bit of money from crypto airdrop money but friends I hope you enjoyed this video once again don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever it really shows support on our channel and once again we also have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.